Amtrak's Adirondack line that uh, runs north from Albany to Montreal has been suspended again after only a couple of months of operation. And North Country leaders are not happy tonight. NBC5 Sid Boulay is live tonight with what we know so far. Sid? Stu, Alice, the decision to temporarily close the line throughout our region comes as a surprise for many. And at the North Country Chamber of Commerce, they say it goes against months of promoting rail use. The problem is north of the border, it's not south of the border. Just months after restarting service that was canceled during the pandemic, things have come to a halt again at the Plattsburgh train station. Amtrak, after all of the hoo-ha and a three-year closure, getting things reopened with fanfare, getting us all working to rebuild ridership, suddenly decides with CN that they can't operate north of the border and so they've ceased service. In a statement from Amtrak to NBC5, the rail company says the decision comes after the Canadian network implemented reduced speed regulations because of the heat, meaning the line stops in Albany until further notice. There's been no indication of when this may be resolved. They're punting it on to CN uh, and the Canadian government, which I understand they're the ones that came down with the requirement. And with no end in sight, Douglas says reserving train tickets in the next week could be risky, as more cancellations could happen in the coming weeks. It already is interfering with plans that we were encouraging people to make. And when you have that happen a couple of different times, you're just going to be that much more reluctant to come back and use the service again. And Congresswoman Elise Stefanik sending a statement to NBC5 where she says this news is absolutely unacceptable. She says her office is working with Amtrak and other officials to ensure that the Canadian National Railroad leadership provides a written plan to reopen the line immediately. And in a statement sent to NBC5, Assemblymember Billy Jones says he's disappointed and it feels like, quote, moving backwards in trying to restore normalcy at the border post-pandemic. Now, Jones and Gary Douglas both say that they hope that the line will be restored by August when students are expected to be returning to Plattsburgh. In New York, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.